What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe After Effects CS5. In this video I'm going to introduce you to Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to go File Import, and I'm going to select the video file here. Now there's two ways to bring your video onto the composition. You can bring it right there, Control Z, or you can bring it on the timeline over here. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the workspace. If you notice all these panels, you can move them around if you wanted to. And what I did was I select Window, Workspace, and I selected Effects. Originally, the effects and presets were on the right-hand side, but I left it over here on the left. If I wanted to move this around, all I have to do is click it, and we can move it somewhere else. So let me show you the timeline. There's a drop-down menu here. We're going to hit the arrow, and we have Transform. We're going to select Scale, and I'm going to hit that clock for a keyframe. I'm going to select another keyframe, just scale it down, and then hit another keyframe, and we're going to go to 100%. So full scale, scale down and then 100%. So you get an idea of what you can do with keyframes. Now let's say we want to add an effect. Go to effects and presets. Select distort. Let's do a page turn. So all I'm doing is taking this effect and I can bring it onto the video over here or the timeline over here. And you see how there's a page turn. Now let's say we want to adjust the page turn. So let's come over here to the timeline. Let's hit that drop down menu and select CC page turn. Now we can control what the page turn looks like. So let me just come over here, set some keyframes. And I'm really just doing this randomly. So let's just take those keyframes. I can select them like this. And now, the page turns like that. If you want to preview your video in After Effects, we have the preview panel, and this shows us the frames per second, and we can adjust that. So let's click play to preview this rendering. The green line shows you that it's going through and that it is rendering, but there's a message here that says it's not the actual speed. So if you want to preview your video in real time, all you have to do is click play and you can preview the actual speed of your video. So let me show you a few things up here we can use. If you want to add text, this is a very basic thing to do, but you can add text over here. Adobe Easy. And now on the timeline, I have a text layer over here. I can move the text around in the layers and that would be underneath the video and this is on top of the video. So you can get an idea of how to do that. So let's say we want to move this text around. We're going to move it away from the composition here. And let's set a keyframe for that. And then let's set another keyframe. And we're just going to have it move in right there. Hit play. And that's what the composition looks like. Let me show you guys publishing in After Effects. If you want to publish your project, you can go to Composition. And we're going to select Add to Render Queue. In the Render Queue panel we have over here, you have different options, but a lot of people say they can't find the file type that they want. That's something I get asked about a lot. But if I select Lossless, this will allow you to go through all the file formats that are available so you can export it into the format that you want. I have AVI selected. You have different options over here. It really depends on your project and the materials that you're using, the video and everything else like that. So I have this folder selected, Tutorial and I can save it like that and it's going to go into the tutorial folder and once you're ready to do that all you have to do is select render so that's my intro tutorial to Adobe After Effects I hope you found it useful and I'll see you guys later cheers